All right. Um, now there's one more command, one more dance step, excuse me, and that's rotate. And when I say rotate, everybody moves around one position. So whoever's standing here moves to here, etc. Okay. Let's uh, do a display now. <laughs> okay, hold it, hold it for a second. So you can see, because we did a bunch of twists, now it's a sort of a, a, a different thing. The twists are still there, but now they're sort of twisting toward the audience and away from the audience rather than uh, uh, parallel to the, to the front of the room. You, you see that? So if we do another rotate, let's just do that for fun, and display. Oh, good. Uh, what have we got here now? Do you think this is a three or negative three? What? The ropes don't matter. The, the ropes don't matter, no. It's just to be a three. It's still a three. And, and you can sort of see, so, so in other words, it sort of looks like if you do two rotates in a row, you get back to where you were. And, and, and we could prove it's a three, right? I mean, if this were a negative three, how could you check that? We could do three more twists and we should be back to where we'd start. But you can sort of see if, if you, uh, can everybody see that if, if we did a twist, it's just going to get worse and worse. So you, you can check, yeah, by golly, this, or you could do three untwists to, to check and see that this is a positive three r rather than a negative three. So we start with the positive three, we did a rotate, we did another rotate, and we're still at positive three. So although there's no proof of it, it sort of looks like maybe that two rotates in a row would, would leave things the same. We'll have to check that later on, but, but uh, that, that's a, 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 an interesting thing. So the question is, if we do, let's say, one rotate from here. Let's rotate. So now we've got the twists running toward, the, uh, toward and away from the audience. What number should this be? It, first off... Are we going to be able to undo this with twists? Yeah, you do a display here again, so. <laughs> right. let's, let's try doing some twists and see what happens. Do a twist. And another, oh, see, this is sort of looking, do a display. It's looking a little ugly. Do another twist. <laughs> it's a... Uh, <laughs> ugly, ugly sort of a result here, right? So, so the idea is, what, what I'd like to do somehow is to figure out um, how we can assign, what kind of a mathematical operation we can assign to, to rotate to make it make sense. Okay, so that in other words, two rotates, sort of, if you started with a number three, two rotates would bring you back and so forth. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's uh, let go of the road. Let's uh, start. Get get back. Get back to zero here. Let me give you like one clue. Let's just start with. Uh, so this is zero. Let's do a single twist. I mean, this is sort of how you might experiment with it, right, is to try little things. We sort of, I think everybody has a pretty good feeling of what would happen if all we do is twists, just gets twisted and twisted and twisted. So the question is, what does this rotate do to it, right? So let's, this is a single twist, so this is plus one. Start with zero, twist gives us plus one. Do a single rotate. Now do a single twist. So that's interesting. It, it's possible to undo a rotate with a twist. So that means if you do a twist and a rotate, you got to what? Zero. No, you start from zero. Do a twist. Let's do a twist. So this is plus one. Now do a rotate. That's not zero yet. So twist plus rotate is something... It's untwist, it's negative one, right? Because a single twist, if we do one more twist, so whatever this number is, do you see what I'm saying? Whatever number it is, we don't know what this number is when we start, but we do a single twist, and it gets us back to zero. And what does twist do? It adds one, so that means a twist plus, followed by a rotate, will get us to negative one. 